Hi, I'm Maritza Medina, and today I'm on Beauty Evolution and will be transformed into Selena Quintanilla. Selena has been such a huge part of my identity, and not just my identity, but for so many Latinx mujeres. She literally continues to be a source of inspiration for so many people around the world now. To see her legacy blow up like this is it like warms my heart, like it makes me emotional. I think seeing Selena Quintanilla speaking both English and Spanish, it must have resonated with me at, at some level at that age, but you know, it's the years afterwards that I really realized like, wow, like she kind of looks like me or her hair and she kind of looks like my mom and she's speaking both languages and navigating these both, both these cultures, the Mexican culture and the American culture. And it was just amazing to see that. And before we get to the transformation, don't forget to subscribe below. This first look is from a photo shoot at El Dorado Ranch in Houston. Texas was the birthplace of Tejano or Texan Mexican music. It's funny because growing up, um, I listened to Tejano music all the time and danced to it, and I didn't even realize it was called Tejano music. I didn't know it was a genre. I just knew it was music that was played at home and like family parties in the neighborhood. This look to me is very much a combination of Mexican influence with 80s, late 80s vibe of American pop culture. Very much Chicana vibes here and I love it. To me, my Mexican American heritage is such a huge part of my identity especially because I grew up in LA. Everywhere you go, you feel it in the city. Now that I live in New York City, it's something that I carry with me everywhere. I don't even think I realized how Mexican I was until I moved over here. Okay. Oh my. God, I kind of love it. The next look is from the 1984 Grammy Award show. Selena won Best Mexican American Album, which marked the first time a female Tejano artist won the category. I think Selena Quintanilla's Grammy look is beyond iconic. Personally, I try to imitate the look for, like throughout the years, for my quinceañera, for my prom, just at any point I think about it as a, like, a future wedding look. She spoke English and Spanish. That was just a moment. We all remember the photos of her kissing her Grammy and looking so happy, and her win was the community's win 100% as well. I can look. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, but I'm 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 just the eyebrows. I'm really stuck on the eyebrows. And the lips. And just the 90s vibe. I'm into it. <laughs>
Finally, one of her more iconic looks is the bedazzle cap and bustier. The bustier is important and iconic because in a way it was a form of resistance, something that's not new to Latinas. It wasn't like a sexualized thing. It signified her independence. It marked a new phase of her career, one where she was, I think, even more empowered. I think something that people don't realize is that, yes, Selena Quintanilla was beautiful and talented and represented so much to so many people, but her life had such a huge impact in American culture. After her death, the coverage that it received made People Magazine realize there was a bilingual audience and they created People in Español. That's huge. When Selena passed away, I was young. Like, I was young, my sister was young, but we remember, we remember the moment. I remember us being sad, I remember it seeing on the news. I remember the reaction of the neighborhood, of my tias, of everyone. Just, we couldn't believe it, we were shocked. Oh my God. I love it. I love it. Oh my god, the cap is so perfect. I swear to god, I feel so connected to her and there's so many people that feel so connected to her and I just think that she was such a special individual and you can feel that through her music that stands the test of time. You can feel that through any interviews or anything in the way she moves and the way people speak of her still to this day. I would just say thank you. Thank you for starting that path or for continuing the path for Latinx mujeres everywhere. So, gracias, Selena. Thank you and gracias for watching my transformation to Selena Quintanilla. To watch more videos, click here and to subscribe, click here.